Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to change your Windows 10 administrator account name or let's just say how to change your Windows 10 account name to your preference. Before we dive deep into this tutorial, let me take a second to clear the confusion around changing Windows 10 account names. There are two account types that one can use to access a Windows 10 system. One is a lock account and two is a Microsoft account. A lock account is an account that is manually set up on a particular machine and it can only be used to access that machine. You cannot use a lock account to access another Windows system such as Windows 10 PC or any other Microsoft system. On the other hand, a Microsoft Live account is an account type that you can use to access any of your Microsoft system enabled devices. That same account can be used to access your Windows 10 machine, Windows Phone, MS App Store and many more Microsoft platforms. So this means to change your Microsoft Windows account, you need to determine which account type is your system currently set to use. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to change your Windows 10 administrator account name for both local and Microsoft account. So let's figure out which account type our system is set to use. We shall start with a Microsoft Live account. You can confirm that your Windows 10 machine is set to use a Microsoft Live account in many ways. The first way is to look on your sign in page. On your sign-in page, if your system is set to use a Microsoft Live account, there would be your Microsoft Live account first and last name, and also your Microsoft Live account email address. In this case, my Microsoft Live account email address is a Gmail account, but yes, that's my uh, Microsoft Live email address. Let's look. Go to Start, Settings, click on Accounts, under your email and accounts, you will again see your first name, last name, and the email address for your Microsoft account. So how do you change your Windows 10 account name if your system is set to use a Microsoft Live account? On this very same page, click on Manage My Microsoft Account. And by the way, guys, you need to have some internet connection here yeah? because this is a live account which is on a live server. So you need to access it, you need some sort of internet access. Once Microsoft opens up its Internet Explorer, you will see your information displayed. All you need to do is to click on the edit name. And in this case, I'll just sort out my last name from Kibs with multiple S's to Kibs with one S. And after I do that, I need to save. Click on save. After it does, you can confirm that the system, the system changed our information by looking at your new information here. You can see that keeps from multiple S's is now keeps with only one S. Close everything. Sign out. Restart your machine. So sometimes, guys, I want to let you know that sometimes Windows caches its live server information onto your system. And sometimes when you restart your computer, you might find that your information was not changed right away. It might take time, but there's a technique you can use to force Windows to uh, uh, apply the changes that you've just changed on their server to your uh, local system. If that's the case that after restart, our information was not changed, I'll show you a technique to force Windows to remove the cached information so that it can propagate the information that we changed on the server right onto our local machine. As you can see, our information wasn't changed right away. So in that case, to force Windows to update our information from the live server to our local machine. To do that, you need to log into your system. Remember, this information was changed, but it still shows the old information. So let's log in to the system. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to tell Windows we don't want our system to be accessed using a Windows Live account anymore. We want it to be accessed using a local account. And after we do that, after we put it to a local account, then we set it back to be accessed with a Windows Live account. That way, Windows will fetch the new information that we uh, set on our live server to our local machine. Let's go ahead and do that. You click on settings, click on accounts, and then under your email and accounts, click on uh, sign in with a local account instead. Now, here they're asking me for my Microsoft Live account password. Here I can set my new uh, local account information, the username, the password, and re-enter the password and the password hit. But for this tutorial, I'm not going to go into all that details. I won't 
provide the password, I'll just leave it blank and click next. I'll just only provide the username, click next. So on this page, they're telling me that I'm about to finish. All I need to do is sign out and finish. Let me sign out and finish. So what I've done here now is I've told Windows, I don't want to access my system using a live, uh, Microsoft Live account anymore. I want it to be accessed using a local account. So when you go to your system to log in now, you can see that it uh, has changed from a Microsoft account to a local account. Click to sign in because I don't have a password. I'll just click and it, I need to sign in. Now, what we need to do is we need to take it back to a live account. Okay, we need to tell Windows now, okay, we want our system to be accessed using your Microsoft Live account. Then we go to settings, account, accounts, under your email and accounts, we say, we click on sign in with a Microsoft account instead. And then we provide our email address for our Microsoft account. Next, we need to provide its password, our Microsoft Live email password now. Sign in. So right now on this page, what they're asking us for is the password for our local account. Remember, when we were setting up this local account, we didn't give it any password. But if you provided a password for yours, provide it here. In my case, I never gave it a password, so I will skip that. Just go next. Um, on this page, they're asking me to do some other settings for storing my password and what have you. For this tutorial, I'll just skip that step. And as you can see, the moment we come back in, the information is updated to the information we set to our live server. So I'm going to be showing you another way that you can change your Windows name if your system is set to use a local account system. Okay. First, we're going to have to confirm that our system is using a local account system. When you go to an, on a sign up page, you will only see that there is only your username and there is no email address, which shows you that your system could be set up to use a local account system for access or for signing in. Again, when you sign in, in my case, I don't have a password in my system. So when I just click on sign in and it goes in, you go to uh, start settings and then go to account. And then under your email and account, you will see that there is your username and below your username, there will be local account, which means your system is set up to be accessed using your local account. Then how do we change our account name? Because that's the goal here. All right, the way we change our account name is you go to search, search for control panel, click on control panel desktop app, click on user accounts, click on user accounts again. On the user accounts screen, I want you to click on change your account name. This one is very easy. Change your account name to whichever name you want to change it to. Let's say I want to change it to Katwe alone. Katwe. And then change name. After you change the name, close, uh, sign out. In fact, even if you don't restart the machine, this one changes right away. It has changed. So that's it, guys. That's how you change your Windows uh, 10 account name. And uh, if this video helped you to solve your issue, please, guys, don't forget to show some love. You can show some love by subscribing to the channel. That's very important, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. You can show some love by liking the video. You can show some love by sharing the video. And again, that love that you show us is one that keeps us going. That is one that keeps us making more videos as well. So if this helped you and you showed some love, that's it for today. Peace. I'm out.